All right, so this is part two of the remarks about the water fast. Um, I was distracted by the cats earlier. So we're back. Um, the lessons learned during this fast was we have to be like water, basically. I really absorbed the essence, the teachings of what a wateristic character, a water character would be like if they were, if they were manifested into human form, physical form. Um, Never push, never force, always just glide and flow. Um, water is yielding, water is tolerant, water is patient, water is transformative, water is everything, water can become anything. And what, when water is done feeding all the life forms, all the animals, plants, humans, what happens to water? It sinks down to the lowest of all points. It doesn't stay there for respect, for worship, for praise. It does its job and it gently, quietly, just slides away, goes back to its origins, the deepest of all layers, under, under caverns, underground. Um, that's the essence of what a watery character would be like. Um, and this, this fast, uh, I really, really took its teachings uh, to its core. And hence, when I compared it my body this year at the end of the fast to last year, at the end of the fast, I was destroyed last year. Like I was all sticking bones um, with no mus musculature left after my seven day water fast last year. And this year when I finished, uh, my, my, mus my muscles, skin, they still were hydrated and smooth and silky after the water fast that's because i really appreciated that's the biggest biggest lesson takeaway that i really learned from this water fast not just to appreciate water but appreciate everything every small thing the breath the the sunlight even the noise no matter um how noisy and offensive it is and distracting i just appreciate it if we can if we can appreciate anything we can also become anything and that's kind of what water try to teach us you know it's just a reflection if we can at the bare minimum be neutral nothing can come um harm us nothing nothing at all um yeah that's really big and i've noticed that my appreciation gratitude the levels of through the roof my levels of uh, gratitude and appreciation through the roof. I was spending 20 to you know, 25 minutes just eating one mango yesterday, slowly savoring each, you know, each bite as this juice is and like slide and swish around my mouth, just absorbing its essence into my body. Um, even this juice here, I've been drinking for over an hour and there's still so much left. I've been drinking like through a teacup just to really savor the moment you know what was the rush water is patient water is everything so I'm really trying to embrace this teachings of um, water into my life into my habits into my very being into my existence until I become the master of yin the master of water um, Physical changes, physical changes there, there are. Um, since there were lots of detoxification the first couple of days, I've noticed that my skin is becoming more uh, silky white, pure. That's the after effects of a water fast. And my eyes are slightly bigger apparently when I look in the mirror, slightly. Um, some wrinkles are disappearing too in my forehead. Well, I had like a right this wrinkle it's disappearing and it continues to disappear I guess there were some uh, toxins in uh, probably the stomach or liver holding 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 me back from expressing and once everything's been released I can just uh, fully rejuvenate the skin and body and organs and hair whatever um, it's great so I don't know when my next water fast is, but 
my next one is probably you know it'll be the same every year i add like one to two more days so this year i had like a pretty intense 10 day next year maybe just 10 to 11 water fast or I might do another 10 10 water fast and one kind of dry fast kind of thing uh we'll see where we'll see we'll see where i'm at next year and as water teaches don't force don't force don't push flow along and listen listen truly feel so until next time namaste all the best